Hello, everybody, and thank you for tuning into 1111 Synchronicity Tarot. I am back with another reading, so let's hop straight into it, okay? You all were, I feel like, dealing with somebody that could have been a little bit materialistic. Somebody could have worried about how things looked, how other people viewed them a little bit too much. They could have been kind of like a people pleaser. This is someone that was focused on money a whole, whole lot, designers, um, all kind of things like that. But with this Four of Cups, it says this person has become increasingly dissatisfied with a focus on material possessions. You need something more in your life, emotional exhaustion, loss of interest in normal activities. So this is the person here on your mind. If you all were dealing with somebody that was materialistic, that put money over everything, um, they didn't hardly care about uh, love or family and things like that, this person is thinking about it now. This person now is realizing that what's money, what's wealth, what is all of these things if I don't have somebody to share it with? If I don't have somebody that truly loves me and care about me genuinely? So these are the things that this person is thinking about now. So if they if they was worried about spending $2,000 on one outfit, this person definitely is not doing that now. If this person was overworking themselves multiple jobs or even with the one job or business they have if they were overworking themselves draining um living above their means they're not doing that anymore this person is realizing things that they were doing in the past and it's like they're correcting those things here yeah the sun this person just want to be happy this person want to be happy and like the life they were living and the things that they were doing was not bringing them true wish fulfillment and complete happiness. This person was feeling depressed. They was feeling drained. You know what I'm saying? Like now the only thing this person wants is like love and happiness. And you know, on a sun card, you have this child here. I feel like this person want to feel free. More than anything, this person just want to feel free. They don't want to be bound, you know, feeling like they have to live for others always worrying about how people view them and think of them not wanting to make decisions that truly make them happy because of what other people might say or think even right now this person right here i feel like with them working on themselves and correcting certain things in their life right now this person is feeling like they have a weight lift off their shoulders like oh i can finally breathe it's like them taking off a, 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 a mask, a suit, doing things and living for others. I feel like this is what this person was doing, living for others. If it's something that they really wanted to do or they really, they really made them happy, they would not do it or they would not go for it. If, if certain people around them didn't agree or if they wasn't doing it, this person wasn't doing it. Then, ah, no, nah, because they may not like it. Or they may not like this person. Or they might look at me as this type of way if I don't wear this. Or if I don't have this. So no, I'm just going to keep doing what I'm doing. This person is out of that. This person is out of that. Because this person is realizing, no, that don't, that don't make me happy. Actually, it's making me depressed. It's making me drained. I can't even be myself around these people that I, I supposed to love. Or they're supposed to love me. You know, it's kind of like this person was faking almost. You know what I'm saying? Just to, I don't know if this person just wanted to be looked up to so much. You know what I'm saying? That they, they it's just, they, they couldn't be themselves. Now this person want to be their true authentic self. They feel free. Now they're feeling free. They want to go back to their child else, their child like self. You know how you were as a child? You be feeling free. It's like you can do anything. Oh, I'm going to do it. I'm going to be the president one day. I'm going to do this. 
oh, I'm going to have that. I'm going to do that. That's like, that's the energy that you really truly have to be in. This childlike energy. You're supposed to always stay in like this childlike energy here. And this is what this person is in. It's like they're getting back to that childlike self. You know what I'm saying? For some of them, they had to heal childhood wounds. Because if this person didn't have a whole lot growing up or they dealt with insecurities growing up, it could have changed them into somebody that they don't even recognize. Like, damn, when did I become like this? When did I become so materialistic? When did I judge other people for not having certain things? When did I become this arrogant or egotistical? Where did this come from? So this person could have had to sit down and look at themselves like I don't like I don't like who I have become. This person is wanting a new beginning. They want new. They don't want anything from their past. They don't they don't want it. They have let go of old ways of thinking. They have let go of toxic people, family, friends, co-workers, whoever. And they want new. They want to go towards their happiness, what makes them happy. And this person is realizing, like, me changing my ways, my toxic behaviors, me letting go things that just no longer serve me, spirit is granting me with a new beginning. This person is seeing that. Like, they're seeing that. Me healing and working on myself, becoming the best version of myself. God is granting me with this new beginning. I feel like with this full source, this person could have even got sick. But I feel like this sickness could have been mental. It could have been dealing with PTSD, depression, anxiety, you know, uh, bipolar disorder. They could have been dealing with these things. For some of them, it could have been another sickness because, you know, sometimes... When you're dealing with depression and anxiety and mental, it, it, it takes effect on your physical body. Then you start having heart issues. That's where the stroke and heart attacks come from. A lot of that be emotional. It starts out emotional and then it, it manifests into the in your physical body. You know what I'm saying? That's why you have to always be positive. And, re and, and reduce stress because stress is a silent killer. Stress brings on physical illnesses and diseases but i feel like this person has been working on that this person i feel like had to get away from certain people and relax and take a rest with the four source four sources also someone like taking a rest i feel like this person literally had to lay a rest they had to be alone yeah you are alone with your thoughts this person had to be alone with their thoughts and think on some shit Get their mind, body, and soul and spirit together. This person, while they was in risk, could have been in this, in this, in this five of cups energy, like just thinking about the things that they lost. They could have went through some type of setbacks. They could have definitely ended a toxic marriage or a toxic relationship. They also, I feel like, were thinking about the loss of you because that they're ego their arrogance them putting money over everything caused them to lo lose out on someone that genuinely cared about them and that's you all this person is feeling sad yeah yeah this person could have been grieving they actually could have cried thinking about the things that they have done. I don't even think this is just with you all. I feel like when it came to you all, I feel like you all could have caused this person to go within and look at things in their life. But I feel like this person is looking at their life overall, like the things that they have done to people, things that were done to them. And I feel like this person had just cried. I feel like they had to purge a whole lot. I do also feel like this person's decisions and the things that they could have chose caused them to have some setbacks and many regrets. And this person don't want to be in this regretful ass energy anymore. Yeah, heartbroken, sorrow, loss. They could have been betrayed. 
And they also can feel like they betrayed you. But this person is accepting the blame for their wrongdoings. Like now they are taking accountability for what they could have done. It's not like, oh, I didn't do anything. It was all their fault. They shouldn't have did this or I wouldn't have did that. No, they're out of that way of thinking. They accept the blame for their part. They know what they have done. And they want to apologize because this person know that they didn't do right. Yeah, now this person want to come with you and they want to work on things with you. They want to work on things with you. This person don't want this to be a missed opportunity with you. But this person do know that they broke your heart or hurt you in some kind of way with it, whatever it is that they did. Okay. And they want to come in before it's a missed opportunity with this eight, uh, eight of wands. It says move quickly or miss out on the opportunity. It says careful planning is important. So this person I feel like right now is thinking of ways to come back in. How to come back in. What to say to you. What to say to you to get you to even listen. You know they could be in this, this energy. They could be overthinking it a little bit too much. Like, oh my God, I don't want to come in and feel dumb. I don't want to come in and feel stupid. I don't want to come in and say the wrong thing. What if they reject me? I feel like this is what they're thinking about. What if I what if I come in and they reject me and then I feel even worse for even approaching them? You know what I'm saying? Like, so this is what this person is thinking about. But they want you. They know they have to come in before it's a missed opportunity because they know that you're not going to be available forever. Because life do go on. You know what I'm saying? You all are not going to be 60, 70 years old, like wondering like, do, 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 do. Okay, so when is he coming in? No, life goes on and this person knows this. They know it. Yeah, you. this person view you as this empress. This is you all. You're in this empress energy right here. This person want to come in towards you because this person sees who you are. They know who you are. They see your worth. They see your value. And this person want to come in before they miss this opportunity with someone so beautiful. Beautiful inside and out. Someone that's creative. Nurturing. Loving. You're, you're literally every woman. Yeah, everything. Yeah, this person is finna take a leap of faith. They finna get in this fool energy right here. Adventurous, free spirited. You know, getting into their energy like I don't I don't care what people think. I don't care how they look at me. I'm going to go towards what makes me happy, the sun. I'm going towards my happiness, ace of cups with this new beginning with this empress. Because this is what's going to make me happy. Ace of Wands. They want to create with you. They want a family with you. Fertility. The Empress is fertility. This person could definitely want a child with you. They could want you to be the mother of their child. Four of Wands. You all could definitely create something together. Because Ace of Wands, it got tap into your creativity. The Empress creativity. Four of Wands, creative goals and projects will be completed. I feel like you all are definitely going to create together. You all are going to create a beautiful family together. But with this Three of Pentacles being right here too, I feel like you all are going to work together. It says teamwork is essential to achieving your goals. Hard work is noticed. So you, empresses, you all could be doing something and this person is watching you grow something. They're watching you be creative. You all could be creating something right now. And this person admires you. They love whatever it is that you're doing and they want to work with you. 
Yeah, it says good planning and careful preparation pays off with profit. Yeah, it says competence. You do everything right in others' eyes. This person see that you don't do no wrong. In this person's eyes, you can do no wrong. This person admires the fuck out of you. This person is inspired by you. This person loves you. For real. When this person look at you, they so inspired and so admired. For real. If this person has not told you this, I'm telling you this person is very inspired by you. This person want to work with you. They want to build with you, create with you. Yeah, and Empress, you all right here, I'm telling you, triumphant. You're bursting with pride. You're very positive. This person loves that about you. Like no matter what, you're always positive. You're a positive person. Hard working. Yeah. You all definitely getting some type of recognition. Let's see. Five of Wands. Clarify this Five of Wands. You can have some people that's around this person because five of wands fell right up under five of cups. You can have some people that's around this person here that does not like the fact that this person is changing for the better. That this person is growing, that this person is elevating, that this person is getting their mind, body, and soul right. You got people that wanted them to stay in that toxic low vibrational ass energy and they're changing they're growing they're elevating and you got people that don't like that but with this wheel of fortune right here it was fated to happen you all connection was fated to happen it's destiny You all here on the top of this wheel, good karma. Good karma is coming in here. This is good karma coming in for you. Things are turning around in your favor. You're getting you you're you're getting everything that you want, everything that your heart desires, and this person. Yeah. Both of you all are in this um uh, single energy so if this person i'm telling you were dealing with someone uh, a karmic partner or even if the karmics in their life for their family or friends they have left that behind both of you all are in this nine of pentacles energy right here yeah look two of cups love that's what y'all you all finna have this relationship here yep oh this this person y'all this person is like slick obsessed with you like they it's like it's in a good way though it's like this person can't get enough of you it's like they can't get enough of you because this fell right the devil fell right on top of the empress right here this person right here is obsessed with you and it's like the empress right here and then you got the ace of cups right above that and the devil in the middle this person is obsessed all they keep thinking about is this new beginning with you i'm telling you look all they keep doing is thinking about you six of cups it says remember the good times and let go of the bad this person is thinking about all the times you all spent together when they think about you they get happy when they think about you, they're happy. They could be smiling, looking at your text messages, your pictures, whatever it is that you do for work, whatever this creative thing it is you're doing, they're watching you. And this person could just smile. I'm telling you, this person is admired by you. All they do is think about you day and night. Day and night. But something is finna, finna get ready to be balanced between you all. Yep. Oh, yep. Ace of Pentacles. Look, divine wish finna be granted. 
divine wish finna be granted. This person not stuck no more. This person is not stuck anymore. This person was forced into living by others' rules. They were feeling trapped. They had a whole lot of fear. But they don't have that now. They released that. They was feeling stuck. Hang man. They was feeling stuck because of what people, other people were thinking. What other people would think about them. But with that first card coming out, four of cups, it's their overall energy. It says you become increasingly dissatisfied with the focus on material possessions. You need something more in your life. I'm telling you, this person is realizing that. That wasn't really making me happy. I was only doing those things because other people was praising me for these things. I was trying to please other people around me. I said, fuck what made me happy to please these other motherfuckers. So these, this person, I'm telling you, they ain't stuck in trap no more. They're not forced into living by others' rules anymore. They make their own motherfucking rules. They're the leader in their own life. Yeah. They watching you, baby. They watching you. I'm telling you, they watching you heavy, honey. Ten of Pentacles. They watching you build something. Some of you all started something from nothing. And you're creating and building something. And this person want to come in and build with you. Generational wealth. You all going to be wealthy too. Because this Ten of Pentacles fell right up under Ace of Pentacles. It says money and material possessions come easily. Success. Projects will grow and prosper. Trust in your own instincts and ideas. I'm telling you now. Y'all gonna be so successful. Yep, look. Wish fulfillment. Your deepest desires is granted. Boom. I'm gonna leave it right there. And I'm gonna grab some uh, names. You got McMillan. Daniel. Somebody could have been doing some salon gossiping. So somebody could do some hair. And somebody could be in a salon talking about girl he finna go towards that empress over there girl he don't fuck with none of us no more he don't mess with us no more he he done changed did you see how he done changed girl he don't he don't he don't do none of that stuff he used to do he be to himself he meditating he praying he changing the way he eat yeah it's all because of that that girl over there Somebody could be wanting to come out with something. Patent. Somebody could be getting something patent. That's the exclusive right granted for an invention. Okay. Bride. Look, bride. I'm telling you, you all finna get married. This person see you as they bride, child. I'm telling you. Yes. Some of you all could be a writer. You know what I'm getting? Some of you all... Some of you all might end up writing a book about your love, about your journey. It's what I'm getting. Even this person, this person could be a writer. This person could want to write a book. Or they already are a writer. Somebody named Neely, uh, Koya, Shay, Shay Shay, Phoenix. Georgia, something about Riverside, Burks. And this person, they're going to do whatever it takes. Whatever it takes. This person here is addicted to you. You read this person. You read this person. You always on point with this person. And they know, and they, they know that. You know everything. You can see everything. Yeah, that's why that salon card came out. That salon gossip. Because <clears throat> this person could have had a lot of options. They could have had different women that wanted to talk to them and be with them. But all they want is you. And that's what the gossip about. Like these people talking about how this man only wants you. They want you. 
And because you, this person, know that God is real, they see that you're an angel. They know now that God sent you in their life for a reason. They feel like now they're blessed because now they have been really, truly blessed by a real angel on earth. And they want to spend their life with you, man. This person was scared of commitment, but they're not scared no more. You make this person feel safe. You're their safe place. This person was crying. This person was crying over you. They miss you. This person miss you, and they're they going to propose to you. If you take this person back, they ain't going to ever leave. They're not going to do whatever it is that they done. Like this person ready to own up to their bullshit and apologize to you. Yeah, you're their safe place. And you had a big impact on this person. A major impact on this person. You had more of an impact on this person's life than people that's been in their life for years. Even their own family. People that could have helped raise them. They friends, family, whoever. It was you. It was you. Yeah. It says, will you marry me? They want to marry you. This person could have had narcissistic uh, ways. You know what I'm saying? But I, f I feel like it was because of the people that they were around. But this person has healed that. They want to go on a cruise or some type of vacation with you. They want to have a child with you. They don't want to see you move on with nobody else. They, they, they wouldn't be able to take it if they seen you being with somebody else. They want you. They know that they made stupid decisions. They know it. They know that they were stupid and they just want to come in and apologize and ask you, can y'all start over? They they know that they can give you what you deserve. Yeah. And they're saying like, when it's all said and done, we're going to be together. You the one for me. You're mine forever, no matter what. This is how they feel. Like, no matter what, you're going to always be in this person's heart. Yep, and they ready to change their life. And they want to be with you. It says, if I give you a second chance, will you take care of my heart and love me correctly? And they're saying, yes, I'm ready to change my life. I'm willing to love you correctly. And I'm making plans for you. But I'm going to leave it right there. And I hope this resonated in some way and gave you all some type of clarity. Bye.